Good morning, Seminole Ridge. I'm Jasmine Alvarez. Today is Tuesday, May 12th, and you're watching Hawk Headlines. As phase one of reopening the county begins, places such as retail stores and malls have begun reopening. The Palm Beach Outlets is among the places that are allowing for this growth. The stores at the mall will reopen over the next few weeks with hours varying. Select stores will also be offering curbside pickup. Globally, other countries are seeing the beginnings of reopening as well. Disneyland in Shanghai reopened yesterday with newly implemented health and safety protocols, including mask requirements and social distancing rules. A molar tooth found in Europe is one of the last remains of the earliest modern humans found in Europe. It is the largest surviving bone fragment from a group of very early Homo sapiens. The molar has created evidence that Homo sapiens arrived in Europe earlier than archaeologists previously thought. Today's trivia question is, how many staff members does Seminole Ridge have? We'll have the answer later on in the show. With most schools being about two months into distance learning with only a few weeks to go, most students have become accustomed to online learning. Hawk headline reporter Lauren Plancarte shows us how some students are dealing with this change. The sudden change from regular school to online school has caused a wave of different opinions and feedback. For some, this transition is very difficult and makes trying to finish the year much more of a challenge. I'd rather be going to school because I'm more on top of my schoolwork and it's just easier to be there in person. One day I'll just want to get all my work done and then one day I just don't feel like doing anything at all. For some students, not being able to be in class to ask teachers questions makes learning a lot harder. It's been a little bit difficult because um, I am a visual learner and it's very difficult to be taught on a computer instead of in person. One student, Ryan Hannon, says due to ACE testing being up in the air, his ACE teachers have been very lenient with the workload. It's been less because a lot of my ACE courses have gotten canceled, so they're not giving as much work. Now that Florida has officially moved school to online for the remainder of the year, this new way of education seems to have become the new normal, and our beds have become our desks. For WSRH Extra, I'm Lauren Plancarte. Seniors, graduation will be on Tuesday, June 2nd at 5 p.m. More information can be found under the Students tab labeled Graduation Information on our school's website. Here, you can also find the scholarship recognition form with, for any senior who has earned a scholarship. Also seniors, you're almost there. Administration is preparing for your senior checkout day and needs some information from you. There is no date yet, but we'll notify you when one is scheduled. In the meantime, complete the senior checkout survey sent to your school email. This information is critical to the planning process for the official day. Administration is doing their best to make this an exciting and successful event for you. As coronavirus has robbed high school seniors across the country of their graduation ceremonies, the LeBron James Foundation, XQ Institute, and many others have come together to pay tribute to millions of high school seniors. The one hour premiere of Graduate Together airs this Saturday, May 16th, and will honor more than 3 million students. For more information, visit graduatetogether2020.com. Grab and go meals will be available to students on today, May 12th and Thursday, May 14th from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Seminole Ridge will be one of the 50 other schools across the district offering support. Feeding South Florida will also be providing boxes to people in need. Congratulations to this week's Hawks of the Week. Ninth grade. Lordany Louise, nominated by Miss Whitener. 10th grade, Maverick McKenzie, nominated by Miss McDonald. 11th grade, Armando Trippieri, nominated by Miss McDonald. 12th grade, Danielle Paul, nominated by Miss Roca. Students are nominated based on academic excellence, community service, leadership, or for being model students. Congratulations to this week's Hawks of the Week. The answer to today's trivia question is, how many staff members does Seminole Ridge have is 2,252. Today is TikTok Tuesday. Let's take a look at what our Hawks have come up with. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Hi. 
Well, that's it for Hawk Headlines. I'm Jasmine Alvarez. Don't forget to follow us and send submissions to us at Summon Rich TV on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Have a great day, Hawks!